Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we will be creating step-by-step -step a child team, which is way more easier than you think. I'm also going to show you a few snippets which you can use to make your life a lot easier in WordPress. We're going to start right now. Log into your WordPress dashboard. If you're still logging in using WP Admin, no! No! Mm, no! that's not a very safe way, so please watch my tutorial about WordPress security. I have to add my authentication code. We're going to install a temporary plugin. Go to plugins, add new, and then you type in child theme. Then we're going to install the child theme configurator by Lilea Media. Then we press activate. And then we go to tools, child themes. And here you can see your parent theme. I'm using Diffy, which I think is the best theme slash page builder in the world. I built all my websites with it and for my clients, they absolutely love it. If you want a 10% discount for a lifetime deal, click on this link or follow the link in the description of this video. But it's possible you have another team here, that's no problem at all. Press analyze and then you can change the theme directory. You can call it your brand name, for example, or in my case, WPress Doctor. Let's scroll down. All these settings are good. Just click on Edit Theme Attributes. And now we can change the child theme name. You can fill in anything you want over here. I'm going to use my brand name. And here you can add the website for which this theme is about. For example, this website is WPressDoc.com. It is my development website. And the author is well yourself. And then you maybe have your own website, which is called wpressdoctor.com. The theme description should be child theme for my website. Then you can add a tag here if you want. And the version should be 1.0. Okay. Don't forget to check this box. And then we press create new child theme. Then it's going to check it and well done. Now it works. The first thing we do, we go to plugins, install plugins. We go to deactivate the child theme configurator and we're going to delete it. Press OK because we don't need it anymore. Then we go to appearance, we go to themes. Here you can see that you have your active theme and your created child theme. If you press on theme details, you will see the WPress doctor buy us the child theme for my website. This is a child theme of Divi. If you want to change this theme image, which I like to do because I like to change stuff, you can do that by FTP, follow this tutorial, and I will show you step by step how you can do it. Or you can go to your file browser of your hosting company. Just click on the file manager over here. And then you go to public HTML. And then you go to WP content. And you go to themes. In your teams, you will see our newly created child team, which is WPress Doctor in my case. Click on it. And you can see the screenshot which we need to change. You can just download it to your PC and then you can change it using Photoshop or Paint or whatever. After that, just press on File Upload. And we want to override it right there. It's been uploaded. And now when I hard refresh my page, then you can see that this image has been changed by this one, very nice. Now let's activate our child theme, press on activate. And now the fun can begin. If you now go to your theme file editor over here on the left side, here you can see your style.css, which you can change and add styles to it. But the most fun part is the functions.php over here. Here you can add anything you want. The first thing I like to change is this ugly logo when I'm logging into my website. And then we're going to paste in a couple of PHP snippets, which really makes your life easier. And it's just a lot more fun in your WordPress website. The first one we'll copy is the change login logo and URL. Just copy it in and then you can see this, your logo here. You go to media, your library, and just select your logo you want to use for logging in. I think this one is nice. Copy URL to clipboard. And then we're just going to and paste it in here like this. And then we press update file. And now when I try to log into my website, this is what we see. And it is way more nicer if you have your logo when logging in. 
Another snippet I use a lot of times is how to duplicate your pages and posts with just one click. Go in here and paste it from the file you've just loaded in. Press on update file. And now when you go to your post, you can actually see this button duplicate. And when I press this button like this, I'm in the exact same post or page. But when I look in my pages, now you will see that the page has been duplicated exactly like the other one with just one click without a plugin. It's amazing. But maybe you have a WooCommerce web shop and you want visitors to place in the only product you're selling into the cart, but you don't want to let visitors go to the cart. You want them to check out immediately. You can do so with this snippet in your functions.php like this. Redirect to checkout page. It works immediately and it works awesome. And one more snippet I always use in my web shops is uh, this one. It will say when when you have when someone has successfully paid their product, they will be redirected to a thank you page, which you can just style yourself and create yourself. Remember, you can change any URL in here, like thank you for payment. Just make sure there is a page behind that one and you'll be redirected after payment to that page. Works like a charm and it's very useful to have a child theme. If I helped you out in this video, hit that like button so I know I was on the right track and subscribe if you wanna see more WordPress related videos. I wish you an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.